All right, so the goal tonight here, got a second GPU. Would love to just slide it right in underneath the other one, but ain't gonna fit. So I need at least another slot there. So I've got a riser cable here, theoretically PCI 5 capable, which is great. And then I thought, now this is just a temporary solution, by the way. My thought process is though, I don't wanna just hang it out and have it just hanging on the side because I might actually use it for a little while to see how I feel about the two cards on one machine versus moving the extra GPU over to a different machine, which might also work just as well. Anyways, I wanted to have some sort of cage or frame or something for this. So I found a little, basically a cheap test bench, if you will. I want to put that together, get the card on that, and then have the riser cable go on in and connect it up. And then I can get my testing done to see what I think of having both cards in the same machine versus splitting one of the cards and putting it into another machine. So let's just get started here. Um, I am going to have to sacrifice overall speed to one card. Obviously, Intel chipset. There's only about 16 lanes of PCIe I have access to between the two cards. So I'm going to have to do eight and eight, which should be fine. You're talking about like, I don't know, 32 gigabytes per second, which is plenty fast to load just about any model I could possibly imagine. So let's say I got a model that takes up the space of both cards. Well, I'm going to get enough to each card to get it there in one second. And that's perfectly fine then. And then I got the riser cable here. Yeah, I think I got a 40 centimeter card or cable. We'll see, we'll see how that does. That should be more than enough space to get out. I didn't want it too long, but I also didn't want it to be so short that I had to like get things bumped up against each other here. Uh, yeah, there's a nice way. Electronic tutorial, scan the barcode. It's interesting that they don't put instructions with it, but they send this nice like envelope. Whole toolkit with it, which I absolutely don't need, but so this would be the bracket for holding GPUs. I guess this one holds two. I thought it only held one card. Looks like there's two separate ones I could use. So maybe I could get another card going here. Part so yeah, what I suspected was this thing is probably highly configurable. It's just a bunch of Legos, if you will. And Saran wrap to hold together the primary pieces. Which is fine. I don't care. They're a nice black color. I thought this was a gray set, but I'm actually happy. I like the black. All right, so we got, we got seven of the big ones, two of the little ones. Yeah, you just slide one in, and then, you, as I suspected, I'm going to put a screw in there to tighten it down then. It'll lock it at that point, and then you can build basically whatever you want with this. So I'll be able to do, I could do like that. I could then slide that little bracket over. So this comes up the back then. See how it goes up the back then, back side? And then the screw is going to be over on this side. So that's going to then go into this one. And when I tighten a screw down on that then, that will hold it from moving left or right. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is I want to put the base together, which is going to be, how do they say? Yeah, I guess I could do it either way, but it's going to be these plus one more side. All right, so now I can just start putting these on here. And just start tightening this down. Okay. Yeah, my whole plan here is just to build the base for the GPU. So then I'll essentially stand the card up like this. Uh, I'll put these set like this here, stand it up, and I'll pretty much be done then. Okay, good enough, sturdy enough, and clamp down. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, and then I can tighten it. All right, there's one down. I feel like this part could have come pre-assembled as well. It wouldn't have like added anything to the packaging size. Suggesting to me to use the L brackets now. This would be for basically getting this right here going. And then the cross beams, etc. I don't I don't really care about that right now. I just want to move on to getting this on. I think this is the last thing I'm gonna need here. These little sliders here. Okay. Then I can decide where I want to put this. It does doesn't really matter to me, I don't think. It's symmetric, so it shouldn't make a difference. We'll just center it. GP. The riser cable I specifically got, you have to pay attention to this to me on what you're going to do. I got one that is a 90 degree for right here, and it should line up to go right into my case. Yep, there's a little notch on the back of the PCI Express slot. So that's just going to slide like that, and this is going to sit literally like right out here. I'll probably have to keep it a little bit of ways away so I don't put a lot of tension on this cable, but I've been thinking a little bit about this. First, I had to flip this around. I had it backwards. This thing is too big for this. Apparently, the guide said there's no limit on the length, but then in fine print right below it, it said there is a limit of 11 inches. But I think I'm going to be okay. So what I've been doing is I set this here just to see how it feels. And then they have a power supply bracket, which they say you're not supposed to use as a GPU bracket, but it's like perfect. 
And it's actually in the perfect position if I were to set it right here. It can hold the other end of the GPU if I do it. I think if I do it like this, let me remember. I think I had to do it like that. It might mount a little bit too low, but we'll see here. Or yeah, a little bit too high, I mean. So I'm going to go right there. And you can see when I bring this up here and mount that. Yeah, actually, I think it's going to be perfect right where it's at. So we're going to try that first. So I'm thinking of mounting down here. This has got a little leeway too to move up and down so I can adjust it. Put the little slider on it, which makes me excited. I was a little bit worried there for a second when I realized that they didn't have any support mechanism specifically designed for the other end of the GPU. I don't understand why GPUs are five pounds and the goddamn things don't have a mount over here. There should be a mount point over here or there should be some mechanism along the way to mount that is standardized across GPUs. It's ridiculous that you only mount it over here and then in the motherboard. like. So let me do my little rant here. So it's one thing when we had GPUs like this, even this one is like, I don't know, probably a pound. And this is from 2013. I think this is at least eight pounds, maybe 10 pounds. Really? The attachment point is exactly the same as the one pound card. Absolutely nothing on this end here to attach to. All we have are these stupid fucking support brackets where you just stick something underneath it, like a little leg, a third leg, but it's just fucking ridiculous. And, and then the best part. So once this is mounted in, this is the best part. You get it mounted in, right? Look, your fans are underneath. If you wanted to add some sort of support, even just a leg, you could put it maybe here, maybe here, here. And if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't just slide under, which is only with one style, the other style is like having a little hook here, kind of like this, where it kind of like comes up and then you have a little grabber to hold it on. Well, then that style, you only can work with the side here. And then you're talking about bumping into your power uh, connectors or your RGB connector. And you only have these tiny little spots to deal with. And remember, you want to get the load bearing over on the opposite end here. This is where you want the support. So you can like put it right here in this little tiny sliver or right here. And actually, it's only going to be right here because this will be up against the motherboard. So you got this little tiny ass area to work with to try and get a third leg in, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to tighten it up just enough so that I can try it out. Okay. Nothing like putting a $3,000 GPU on a $10 it's a junk. Yeah, that works good, actually. Put a screw up through, and then you've got to hold, put the holder up on top, but it will. At least it won't be coming off very easy. The screw's going to come up to the bottom, and this little head goes on top and just spins around. At least it spins nicely and spins shut real nicely. This is awesome. And it's sturdy, and it's everything I want. I can even, hopefully across my fingers, pick it up here and move it. It's just all I wanted was to make sure that this thing just like wouldn't collapse apart if I bump into it. So then the last step is going to be to plug this part in. And so for that, let's get the computer shut off. All right, so here, I can't be able to see this very well, but I'll put her in there, put that in, push that back. I think it only, okay, side here. Well, angle down. That's just the pressure on the cable here. Oh, if I fuck my motherboard up, I have a good reason to buy a better one. And do I have this on the way I wanted it? I think I got it backwards. I got to slide it around like this. Ooh, fans, you're gonna see the fans spinning off. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. I need power now. Got a box inside of a box inside of a box. And here's the extra one that I need. It's a nice box though. To be able to support this, I got the 1600 watt Be Quiet, which has dual uh, six by two. Is that actually gonna, I don't think that's gonna read. This is where the trusty headlamp comes into play. Really nice. Fucking flipped around. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Hey, at least this one's long enough. I can do this now. Okay, so I think everything's connected. I've got power to both. They both look seated well. We'll check the lights on them in a minute. Oh, of course, I got to turn it on. See what happens here. Ooh, got lights on both of them. Green light there. Green light there. Yeah, always make sure you got your little green light for this card, anyways. The Zotec card. Next up is going to be do I recognize them? Alrighty. See what happens here. Yeah, look at that. There's two rows here. Look at that. There's zero and there's number one. We got them going. There's number one and there's number two. So I could use. I don't, I've never checked to see, I think Olama can handle both. Let's just try this here. Yeah, there we go. 31 and 31. Do we have a model that is the size of, I wonder if I could sort this by size. Oh, I can't fit Quinn 3 and 142 gigs is too much. I don't think I can fit this one on though before. Yeah, that's the A3B Quinn model. It's the MOE mixture of experts. There's no way I fit that on my other one because it leaves no room beyond the model itself. So that would be a good one to try. Hold on that one and see what happens. It's loading. That's awesome. I don't know what to expect up here in terms of is it going to automatically select to use both? Where's the GPU? Yeah, okay. So memory required full, 43 gigs. Where's the allocations? 
Oh, here we go. All right. Yep. Look at that. We got memory allocated across both of them, right? CUDA zero, CUDA one. All right. Both parts. Split the model up, I guess. And the real test will be how fast can it can it spit out tokens really fast? Because it's kind of a big model. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's over a hundred tokens per second. All right, look at that eval rate, 100 tokens per second. Very cool.